Hey YouTube, CitySide75 here and I'm bringing you a quick pickups video because um, I went out garage sailing yesterday and today. Today is Saturday the 14th I believe. Um, and uh, had some good pickups both days and quite a few actually so figured I'd just go ahead and throw in this quick pickups video just to, you know, th then I can put them in my collection which is part of what I want to do as well. Um, so. Today was actually the really the best day by far. Um, and what happened in three instances was that we went to garage sales and um, I was wearing this Atari shirt and it struck up conversations with people. And then one person said to me, hey, I forgot to put my video game box out, which those words are like, uh, <laughs> you know, sung from an angel um, when they say something like that. And then the other cases, uh, we started talking and I actually asked them if they had any video games and in the other two cases they were like, oh yeah, we've got more video games or we've got video games. So it always pays to ask and definitely did this time. So let's go ahead and jump into it and I'll kind of tell the stories as they go along here. So the first sale that we went to, we went to this sale and uh, they had this Mod Nation Racers. They didn't have anything video game related except for this one game sitting out. Uh, and I asked him how much it was, and he said two bucks. And I'm like, okay, that's a good price. Uh, but you know, this, in this case, I I noticed there were younger, like there were teenagers um, and you know, uh, younger adults uh, that were at this sale. So I figured I'd just go ahead and ask. I said, you know, do you have any other video games? And they're like, oh yeah, I think we do actually. So it took them a few minutes. They were really apologetic that it was taking them so long. I'm like, hey, no problem at all. Blah blah blah, and. They come out with, let's see, a bunch of games. The ones that I pulled out were Mario Party 8, <clears throat> Battlefield 3, Halo Reach, and Left 4 Dead 2, which I'm really excited to get this one. And so uh, I said to them, so are the rest of these also two bucks? And they were like, ah, uh, yeah, what the heck? And I'm like, awesome. So... All of these were 10 bucks. Um, and actually, this was the first sale. So yeah, the first sale, I struck up a conversation with the guy again. I think the Atari shirt um, started it. And I asked if he had any video games. And he's like, oh, you know, let me talk to my daughter. And so he comes out with a bunch of Wii games. And most of them, we had already, I already had them. Uh, or it was, you know, like total shovelware type games. Um, but I did grab Deca Sports, which I don't know how this is, but... It looks kind of cool and Mario Kart Wii and uh, I've talked before about the fact that I have the four uh, steering wheels now the steering wheel controller so I can fi finally play uh, four player Mario Kart but I had to get the game so and this guy he told me to make him an offer so I offered him two bucks a piece on the games uh, he came back to me with three bucks a piece and I said yes I would do that so um, that was a good one. He said he was thinking, after I made the offer of two bucks, he said he was thinking five bucks, but then he came in at three, so not bad. Uh, and then finally I went to one other sale and again struck up a conversation with the lady there. And this lady, she was just a, a lady working the sale by herself, a middle-aged lady I would say, probably like in her 50s. And she didn't have anything that looked at all video game related. And But we were talking about my shirt and about old video games and Pong and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden she says, oh, I forgot to put out the video game box. And I'm like, oh, yes. And I, I was not surprised that this lady had interesting and unusual things in her video game box. I don't know who it was from, but, uh, uh, and there were, there was some good stuff in there just that you don't normally see. So for the PS1, I got this, Eternal Eyes. This one, Evil Zone, which the case is a little beat up and there's no manual, unfortunately, but still, it's an Atlas game and it looks looks interesting. And then Digimon World 1. And if you watched recently, you saw that I recently picked up Digi, Digi, eh, Digimon World 2, I believe. Um, and these, like I said, they don't interest me and they're just a quick... 35 40 to 45 dollars each i mean i'll just replace this case the broken case here and it'll pay for pretty much everything that i bought all weekend so i love it um and let's see oh yeah and then also xeno saga for the ps2 and rogue galaxy for the ps2 
So I've talked about my philosophy before. I'm not going for any complete collections or anything like that. I'm just going for the stuff, you know, I, I just, ever since I've been a kid, I've consumed a lot of video game media, whether it's magazines, websites, um, whatever, TV shows. And I always make note of games that I see that sound interesting that I'm not at all motivated to pick up now, but at some point when I see them cheap, um, I'll pick them up. And so that's what these kind of games usually are. I've heard good things about them, um, or I know something good about the company that makes it, and I just want to check it out, but I only want to do it. So these were all, all together, uh, eight bucks. And then finally, Oh, 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 I forgot this one too. This was with the, the family that sold me all those games for two bucks. Also, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which, I mean, that's a pretty new game. Two bucks. Um, and then finally we stopped off at uh, Toys R Us because I've been seeing people on YouTube that have been uh, talking about these, you know, Toys R Us clearance that's going on now. And there's been some awesome Toys R Us clearances in the past. I don't know if anybody that's watching now remembers the Toys R Us uh, green tag sale of the mid-2000s, uh, but that was epic, and we brought home two carts full of stuff from that. They had The, the tags had hit 90%, and somehow, at least in the Toys R Us by us, a lot of people didn't know because we picked up bikes. We picked up, I mean, a bike that my wife still has to this day that was $250, and we got it for $25, brand new. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so right now they're having 70% off their green and blue tags. So I picked up uh, SSX for the PS3. That was $19.99, 70% off, so six bucks. Uh, Epic Mickey 2 for six bucks. And then this, I mean, I think I let out a audible yes when I saw this. Rhythm Heaven Fever for $5.98. Um, and this is really exciting. Um, if, if you don't know what Rhythm Heaven, Heaven uh, the original Rhythm Heaven is, it's these Game Boy games. They're a lot like WarioWare, but they're music-based and rhythm-based. Um, but it's the same kind of quirky Japanese humor and the same kind of like quick little uh, challenges. And you actually make little songs out of the, the games if you do them right. So it's... I'm really looking forward to this, and for six bucks, brand new, awesome. Uh, and then finally, on Friday, I didn't see much of anything at garage sales on Friday, but I went to a church rummage sale, and they had big boxes full of big box PC games. And I've got a pretty, you know, fair collection of big box PC games right now that I haven't shown yet. They're stored away in the closet, sadly, right now. But uh, um, so I'm not looking for too many more. Um, but these were just too hard to p pass up. They were two bucks a piece. Tune struck, and it's sealed. It says new on it, but I'm skeptical. It looks like these came from a um, an old chain of computer reseller stores that we had around here. They were called Cyber Exchange. That's what these remind me of from years ago. Um, so I'm not sure if it's new or not, and I'm not sure if I'm going to open it or not, but I've heard really good things about this game. It's supposed to be really cool, and I love the animation style and I always was on the lookout for this game for years and I never found it cheap and then uh, if you watch the lazy game review then you just recently saw his slave zero uh, PC review and it as it turned out I had picked this up just the morning before I watched his video I had actually watched his video um, about the uh, the woman shaped mouse where he played slave zero in that and uh, when I saw this game, I thought of that video, and then he comes out with a review of it later on. So anyway, for two bucks, and again, it's sealed, but I don't think it's new. And then this one, this one looks kind of newish. Yeah, but no, it says used PC game. Um, and it's Dungeons and Dragons Blood and Magic. Um, and it, it, this was just one that looked semi-interesting, and I know that the Dungeons and Dragons games can be kind of uh, rare and expensive at times. So this one's not, it's not worth very much, maybe a five to 10 bucks or something like that, but still cool. And I'll still throw it in my box with my other um, big box PC games. So that is it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this little impromptu pickups video. I just, you know, I haven't had a day like this at the garage sales in quite a while. It was just like every one that we hit. Uh, we, and we didn't get out till probably about 9, 15, 9, 20. 
but every one that we were hitting right off the bat, they were going in and getting their not yet put out box of video games, which like, again, that's just the best because you're getting first, first crack at everything that they've got. So it was awesome and wanted to make a quick video of it and share it with everybody. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.